Hello, dear friends. My name is Borislav. I'm here today with uh, Father Herman. Hi. The Qatar YouTube channel is greeting you again. We are in Catalonia, in Spain, at the Qatar Spiritual Center. And today we would like to share with you the main spiritual concepts of the recent Qatar Annual Congress, which uh, just have finished. <music> I'd like to ask Father Herman which were the main concepts of the recent Katha Congress. So for us, <clears throat> this Congress is uh, the most shining, the most expected Katha Congress because it reveals, it um, accumulates the treasure of Katharism for the last thousand years. And one of the main other concepts is the Immaculate Conception. For some people it is very difficult to explain what is this, but I want to tell you, this is that what happened here, in this area, in this valley, surrounded by, with beautiful mountains of the Immaculate Conception. And behind us is the historical mountain which has relation to this miracle of medieval Cathars during their um, heroical life and martyring. Across this mountain, which, is, which are called as Pyrenees, uh, there is a place which is very known by many people in the world as Lourdes. In Spanish, Lourdes, Lourdes. I don't know in English. Lourdes. Yes. So, Many people know that this is uh, some kind of miraculous place where there is a well healing people during more than 150 years. And almost nobody knows that the miracle which had place uh, there was related with some divine lady. She appeared uh, to um, a visionary girl and to the question, what is your name? She replied, I am the Immaculate Conception. But the miracle is that that place was the place of Cathar Castle. In the time of beginning of Inquisition, in the time of genocide of good people, there exactly where appeared Goddess Virgin Mother, as we believe, 100 sorry, 1,400 Cathars were burned at stakes. And later this place was completely abandoned and nearby this place there are the ruins of one of the main Cathar castles. So this well, well of the Immaculate Conception, completely full of heroical treasure of this 1,400 brave spiritual people. Right, uh, so back to the concepts uh, of the Congress. Uh, we have to count uh, at least three of them. First, it was the Immaculate Conception. Second, the Lamb of Evillessness. And the third one was the golden fiery belt of the goddess virgin mother above the suffering world so uh, let us uh, say at least few words uh, about each of it uh, of these concepts because uh, well it's we have to confess that it is very hard to speak in human words about such super celestial uh, subjects uh, from my side uh, what I was inspired by that the main message of the Katha prophet John Bogomil and uh, uh, all preachers was that the Immaculate Conception is possible for a man and moreover than that it is the actually what has 
happen to each and every soul which uh, is uh, descending to this world each and every soul is called to be conceived immaculately as a god as a divinity without uh, participation of uh, low passions furnace uh, eros etc that it is possible just like it used to be in the time of the atlantis or other immaculate civilization and this time is coming back again the civilization of the immaculate conception so it is not just about conception of god man jesus christ back uh, 2000 years ago but it is about each and every soul on the earth today we may see very well that um, all all our life is uh, is full of some kind of particles plastic particles artificial particles um, modified genius particles which are um, in a, which are present in our daily meal and all like that so something happened with us that artificial things they just attack um, a person a human being in uh, in this world in our days and even this is just quite seldom we may stay in such a beautiful environment like this and to enjoy fresh air free of any artificial particles of smoke of petroleum or or just um, uh, some particles of uh, the um, chemtrails or trucks and cars wheels all this um, black powder is penetrated and just a, as a big smoke mm, uh, hangs over big cities you know so um, there are other different particles and these particles we may say as a substance of honey uh, pollen of flowers particles so these particles they also affect human being and they have relation with the this what is very very important which is looks like also as a pollen as a, some uh, flower smells and fragrances but this has different origin origin of divinity and related and is in the very archetype of human being uh let me turn our conversation into practical uh, field and uh, uh, just uh, remembering what was said uh, during the congress about the immaculate conception in practical way mm -hmm. so how does it happen for a human soul for a human uh, being uh, if we are speaking about a conception like uh, partners would like to conceive uh, and they are prepare they prepare themselves for this unique mystery conception of a human soul of a divine soul and if it is so then uh, the conception will be at least pure which is uh, very close to the uh, immaculate conception uh, for, uh, we prefer to uh, graduate uh, conception uh, with uh, three levels. Uh, first one is like common conception, uh, o let's say occasional conception, which we can see very often around us, uh, nightclubs, uh, some drugs, uh, alcohol, boom, sexual relation and uh, conception happened. Child conceived unexpectedly. unexpectedly very 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 uncertain conception with a very uncertain destiny of this soul and uh, very likely it will be not a uh, very happy and joyful life for such soul uh, the next level is pure conception when uh, 
father and mother they uh, love each other yeah. uh, they want to bring uh, some beautiful soul to this world they prepare themselves uh, they are consecrated to a mystery of the conception and and the birth and they conceive of course uh, through some uh, sexual uh, uh, relation but uh, there is no uh, tantra yoga there is no pornography there is no perversions uh, in uh, this process it is pure and based on love first of all yeah. and the immaculate conception which is the highest uh, in this scale it is a total mystery that's why we mentioned it at the beginning that it is almost impossible to speak with uh, uh, with uh, our human language uh, about this mystery because we are speaking about the future times which are already coming in spirit in different dimension in the kind other world which is descending on earth it is already happening and we as a consecrated cathars we have entrances to this kind divine dimension and we bring this concept to the earth beforehand i don't know maybe a thousand years maybe hundreds of thousand years uh, beforehand or maybe it will happen tomorrow after the catastrophes and collapse of this civilization and the new civilization will will just uh, show up uh, unexpectedly who knows we we don't know what do you think uh, father herman i want to say that and uh, also to just uh, to change emphasize from the some uh, completely virtual religious aspect of this kind of conception into the into our 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 day life so what does it mean immaculate what does it mean um, divine conception from above it means that this is conception this is acceptance of something which is not from here which is very very pure and kind and that what doesn't have evil in itself so the immaculate conception means that something pure and protected from evil should be conceived in us and uh, what is also very important to mention that uh, if pure conception includes uh, participation uh, or needs uh, participation of two father and mother uh, then immaculate conception needs participation of at least three father mother and divinity divinity deity and the origin the source of the immaculacy is needed for the immaculate conception and we believe it is a goddess the goddess mother the very mother she is the unexhaustible uh, spring of holy waters uh, in which the immaculate conception happens yeah so um, this kind of goddess mother Cathars uh, had during the centuries pure mother mother of pure and virginal waters mother which who share her purity with her children and not by chance uh, cathars were called like that because of purity cathars means pure ones purity and this purity is not it is not just purity this is a divine purity this is a purity where there is no any evil where there is no shedding of blood there is no anger um, suspicion judgment uh, aggression wars and the consequences of all these things which bring a huge and incredible suffering not only to human being beings 
but as well to all nature, animals, and uh, everything what is living under this beautiful shining sun. So uh, let's uh, get to the end uh, of explanation uh, of this particular concept, saying that uh, the consecration, the dedication to the Goddess Mother is uh, very needed for this Immaculate Conception, which will be the foundation of the new Immaculate Civilization. So this very immaculacy we can get only, only yep. from our Heavenly Mother and never, uh, nowhere in this world there is no shrines no temples no holy mountains and places where we can uh, reach this immaculacy only from the very source of it it is the goddess virgin mother yeah i would say uh, also to uh, just to join in this moment uh, the concept of the original immaculacy with the third one with the fiery belt fiery belt of uh, goddess virgin mother uh, this place these mountains which are uh, where we are right now Pyrenees um, since the ancient times are called as a um, belt of purity of Europe belt of virginity of Europe so this is uh, and uh, not by chance, from the both sides of Pyrenees, the first Cathar community started to grow. And this is important and how the purity of Divine Mother wants to protect people from disasters and from evil, from itself. Firing belt. Firing belt. And this is a belt of purity. Um, it's a uh, this is her motherly fiery love why it is fiery belt this is so huge love if you accept her love this re this love reveal itself to you and she wants to embrace you and to protect you and give everything necessary for you to be distinguished at the moment of that choice of fate where you are where you are if you become a victim or be protected and saved by um, by that great purity and uh, uh, kindness of uh, uh, pure and kind heaven yes and uh, also this uh, golden fiery belt of the goddess virgin mother is coming instead of the dark belt of the great whore which is the opponent yeah. to our mother that uh, according to our uh, mythology this dark belt covered the spiritual uh, space of the earth a few thousand years ago yeah. and uh, that's why evil was uh, inserted on earth starting with the last first of all the last was the first invasion of evil and uh, the very last transformed uh, and changed to the different forms uh, finishing with a nuclear weapon uh, billions of abortions and bloodshed and uh, everything else and finally after a few thousand years of the domination of this dark belt with the uh, zodiac, with uh, evil constellations, with uh, dark karma, with a fatality, with a death, with a fear, it is all gone and the new golden belt already is being uh, uh, covered uh, the face of the earth which will bring uh, new destinies new joy new 
entrances to the earth and new souls will start uh, coming to this uh, world yeah. they will bring different uh, light grace extreme kindness uh, supreme uh, love uh, purity wisdom beauty it is all related to the golden fiery belt of our mother it is a crucial moment we all believe and we all sensed this during the congress and uh, we had many guests from different backgrounds different spiritual movements uh, uh, Buddhists, uh, Muslims, uh, some esoteric uh, groups, Gnostics, uh, Christians, uh, and we all together sensed that it did happen. Yeah. Congratulations to all the earth, to all humankind. The new epoch finally has started. And we would like uh, we would like to encourage those who suffer disasters at their home and their own country um, under attacks of big waves or tornadoes or tsunamis. Uh, yes, or waiting uh, for the uh, next earthquake, which uh, may become dreadful for some of people. And uh, I know uh, very deeply all these feelings and uh, I want to encourage all those who are tired of this awakening of the fate uh, come closer ask for approaching of the firing belt of fiery mother fiery this is her fiery love she loves us ardently she wants to stop all this uh, fatality uh, blind fatality which is um, right now, uh, uh, the the humanity of the Earth is uh, is affected by, and uh, exactly this firing belt is um, predest predestined to stop this violent action of nature, let us say, or others, others catastrophical things, which may occur as we know uh, spiritually all this happens when people cannot uh, maintain themselves in the frames of universal kindness so uh, the world order now is drastically and dramatically mixed with evil and this evil is revealing itself up to the critical situation for us for our civilization to be completely destroyed so there is no time anymore for recovery uh, for several hundreds of thousands years of gradual um, uh, becoming better of our human society now is a time of we would say of spiritual heroes who can accept and call for this firing belt and uh, with their motivation of heart to help themselves and to help to many other people who stay around them. It's very good, uh, Father Herman, that you mentioned uh, this subject because it is uh, actually the uh, step towards the next uh, concept, uh, a lamb of evillessness. Uh, that humanity needs a l the lambs of evilnessness so like many many of them many many of christ's christ's and uh, virgins uh, goddesses i don't know uh, we prefer to use the uh, word uh, uh, gods and goddesses or divinities which are first of all absolutely evil less they don't have evil they do not respond uh, to evil with evil and uh, of course uh, this is uh, also very hard to explain this concept uh, how to be 
not a victim, not a, just a suffering object of the evil forces which uh, hate you, kill you and uh, just destroy you. But to be a warrior, to be a knight, to be a victor, but at the same time to be absolutely less of evil. Yeah. Some people may say, so what should I do if I am under attack of evil? Should I defend myself or should I give permission to, to die? The concept of the lamb of evillessness means to develop in ourselves great power of kindness. Great power, it is really power which may stop evil. But for this, uh, that one who wants to do like that should become in some way hero, as a hero, and to start win evil inside of himself, in his own to get rid of all the manifestations of evil up to the smallest spot of evil which are, of course, all of us we have some impurity or inclination to evil and our conscience, our inner conscience advises us what is in us not in order. And, oh, it's very interesting, Father Herman, uh, would you agree that uh the a lamb of evillessness will be hundred percent protected yeah. against evil. Yes. That I am open to be attacked by evil uh, to uh, 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 I try to explain myself that if I have, if I possess at least one percent of evil in myself in my thoughts, in my acts, in my words, in my uh, subconsciousness, I'm open to be attacked by evil. Yeah. And the very lamb of evillessness, that one who has no evil in itself, is absolutely protected. Yes. And it is paradox, paradoxical. Yes. That I, I have no uh, mechanism of defense against evil. I do not uh, train box, I do not train uh, martial arts, I do not uh, have um, uh, money on a bank account, uh, I don't have a, a, like a bunker uh, made of concrete uh, to be saved uh, during earthquakes uh, or against uh, nuclear atomic uh, bombing attack. I have nothing. I'm just simple lamb. 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 You all know uh, lambs. Uh, they are absolutely uh, protected less. They are very, very... Uh, how do you... How... I would say calm. Calm, yes. They are very, very uh, innocent. Innocent. Uh, each and every can uh, approach and hurt it. And in their nature, they completely do not have anything at all. If you act with aggression against lamb, lamb doesn't ex uh, doesn't reply with the same. It, it just simply doesn't have it. Uh, this mechanism uh, in itself uh, so, do not do, does not respond with any evil, with any uh, anger, nothing of that. It's absolutely evillessness. That's why we use the term lamb. Lamb as a sacrificial uh, creature, which is the essence of divinity, which we worship. We worship uh, our father or mother or anointed ones, which uh, are lambs, the great lambs, the great uh, sacrificial souls, Mahatmas, uh, who come to this world to give themselves, uh, to give their life, uh, to give their love, to give their kindness, to give uh, everything they have for the humanity. This is uh, the essence of uh, being a lamb, and the lamb of absolute evillessness. Yes, and for many people who feel in themselves that inner calling uh, to be kind, 
and they um, they react um, to injustice and um, and uh, do not want to use the same arm as evil or aggression uh, we would like to encourage and to say um, um, let us know each other come and see us how we live and accept that power of lambs of evillessness and protection of good people don't be afraid be good don't be afraid be kind and all your fears will disappear and you will see in your practice how evil stops and run away and don't be alone don't be alone if you recognize yourself in our uh, discussion that you are just uh, like us uh, uh, or you pretend to be a lamb of evillessness join join communities uh, let's join let's gather let's be uh, united uh, when we are united we are strong we are strong when we are united we when we are in community and the communities of good people will be absolutely protected this special unique shelter shield and protection will be above under under uh, under under them over, yeah under uh, the over over, them. over over the the shield and protection special shield and protection will be over the communities of uh, good people of lambs spiritual uh, lambs and no evil will touch them and hurt them yes and um, finally for this um, aspect and phenomenon of lambs i mean people who are lambs of evillessness uh, we would like to say that uh, this lamb is living in us this beautiful and um, uh, beautiful person of dignity some hidden knight of kindness but must be uh, done some serious effort for to discover it for to open reveal and let it grow it is not enough still our education or best wishes or some kind of uh, romanticism and uh, expectation uh, of pure events but it must be serious work for liberation in us the potential of purity and uh, the final purification from the old particles of evil uh, great and uh, also uh, we have to mention that uh, this congress was full of extreme joy that uh, the joy which uh, we possess the divine joy was revealed during this congress lots of uh, circle dances lots of joyful uh, proclamations uh, lots of uh, happy faces and uh, we hope uh, you will see it uh, on our youtube channel uh, we will make a short video uh, highlights uh, from the congress well uh, this is uh, pretty it for the moment uh, of course we are short in time to to explain all the knowledge all the wisdom uh, which uh, was revealed uh, during the congress but we will do it uh, in our future videos uh, while we are here in spain in catalonia in the cathar spiritual center i hope uh, father herman will help us with this uh, stay with us uh, thumbs up uh, subscribe you know that uh, youtube uh, changed uh, it uh, uh, notifications so uh, you have to click the button uh, if you want to get uh, information about the new uh, videos so uh, check it uh, like subscribe share we would like uh, like to get your comments and your 
questions, uh, if you have uh, something to ask about uh, modern day Catharism, about uh, our moment, about uh, the Cather prophet uh, John Bogomil, please uh, put it in comments below. Uh, you, we have our Facebook page, the Cather Temple, and uh, our embraces. Stay in touch. Uh, see you soon. Thirty fifth, fifth, fifth. Mm -hmm.